corn stash coming in strong. Your boy's a bit sick. I got down with the sickness. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Yeah, pretty cool. Video editing coming in strong as well. But here's the truth. I wasn't supposed to work out for another week. I was supposed to keep it light next week, but frick, man, I was starting at about 217. Cardiovascular shape strong. I really don't lose my cardio all that easily, but regardless, I was doing six minutes at 12 miles an hour on the treadmill, a bunch of ropes, etc. after weight training. You'll see me do overhead press in this video. I was doing 205 for sets of seven, 180 for sets of 10 to 11. Today I got 180 for five. But you know what, that's all right, because in this process and in this journey, we're gonna slowly build up volume and intensity and proximity to failure because as I mentioned, I was sick and I couldn't train for nearly three weeks and that's not really something I've ever done in my life. So we're gonna optimize the fact that we're really, really sensitive to the stimulus and we're gonna build up stuff slowly. So I thought I'd make a little video series on my recovery and my process of getting better because you know what, I've been through stuff like this before where last year I hurt my back and then you know what, I couldn't deadlift for a while but I just kind of sulked on my own misery and you know, altered my training program and slowly got better but heck, if I can motivate, lead and inspire and encourage other people who may be going through a tough time because it's you know, sickness season or whether they're going through a strain or a breakup, whatever and they got out of their groove we're watching this video series week by week and we're gonna tune in, get better, get stronger and improve all the time, mentally, physically, in every single way possible. So what I'm trying to say is, is if you're down and out and sulking, get up, get to the gym, start training again, start improving again and do what you can. And for those of you who took time off intentionally, we're gonna slowly build it up. Well, even if you didn't take off time intentionally, we're gonna slowly build up our volume and we're gonna slowly build up our proximity to failure, intensity, intensity by that I mean weight, and just overall how much we do in the gym. So we're gonna try to make the most out of the least and continually get better every single freaking day because that's what it's about. <laughs> so that's really all I gotta say about that. And you know, you'll see a few clips from my workout today and you'll see some clips of me, how I used to look before I had to take time off of the gym. But honestly, I walked in the gym and I was super small, flat, and I was like, frick, man, I lost a lot of muscle. And then I started getting a pop. I was like, freaking hey, man. Like, it's probably just the fact that I haven't had a pump in a while and I was similar to the same size but that being said I was about 217 and now I'm about 202 so a lot of it's probably water weight not a lot of muscle but at the end of the day we want to get that weight back up that strength back where it needs to be and it's not the fact that we lost the strength per se we're just detrained you know if you don't train for a little while you're just detrained but it comes back on super easily it comes back on super fast so we're just going to prioritize getting better getting healthy getting strong again and in the process, I'm gonna to try to motivate and inspire and encourage you guys to do the same if you're going through a tough time. So that's the point of these video series. Stay tuned for more. Oh, by the way, freaking beard and no tanning and chest hair looking like the Jumanji looking dude. Man, oh man, my girlfriend was looking at me in the shower. And she looks at me and she goes, Babe, don't really mind the body hair, but the facial hair has got to go, okay? Bye. Come here, babe, kiss me. No. <laughs> With that being said, here's the important part. Like I said, we're building up volume and intensity, and like you saw in this video, I really wasn't doing a whole lot of compounds, no barbell rows, no pull-ups, um, no heavy barbell curls, and we did dumbbell curls, but you know, there's no compound. So if we're gonna build up stuff like volume and intensity and proximity to failure, let's save the compound lifts or get those huge bang for your buck to later on, you know? Let's just try to get the most out of the least. So lat pull-downs, cable curls, the dumbbell curls today, you know, super low volume on deadlift, stuff like that. So we're gonna try to make the most out of the least, even with doing compounds. Furthermore, I mean, I took it back to the gym way too early. I had a bunch of stuff going on and then I was like, you know what, we're gonna go to the freaking gym. And then the next day I woke up after like three days of really deep load light sub max training and I was out for three weeks. So really kind of banking on going in a week early versus what the doctor said not being a problem but you know what we'll see what it goes with because i can't just sit in the bed anymore and do homework and eat food and just watch other people work out and not go to the gym myself so i'm feeling like this is going to be an okay choice especially considering how light the session was one last thing and i'll shut up every single time i've noticed though that i get sick or some kind of strain happens when i'm doing way too much last time i got my back problem it was well 
was doing two and a half hours of cardio twice a week, four hours of weights, six days a week. So this time I was probably doing too much as well. So sometimes you just gotta realize, you know what? It's not about how much you can do, it's about how much you recover, grow, and progress from. So honestly, this process of not training for a little while may have sensitized me to growth, and man, oh man, I might blow up from doing way less than I ever could have blown up from before. So sometimes you make the most out of the least, and sometimes, well, you always should probably make the most out of the least, but sometimes you benefit from these situations that you really don't want to be in. So that's the way we can look at it and grow stronger through. All right, checking in with you guys midway through the week here. So I didn't really go into specifics regarding how to drop your volume overall. I said, you know, just go further away from failure, drop your intensity, less volume overall, but how? I would do about 80% of your sets. If you usually do 10 sets of back, I would do about eight. If you wanna drop your proximity to failure, if you already haven't done that in an efficient way, I would just take off two to three reps per set and keep the weight the same. So you keep the intensity there. So you're still getting that heavy stimulus. You just take off reps from your normal amounts of sets to ensure that you're not going too close to failure. But with that, when I said 10 sets, that'd be like your lowest week volume. So if you do three weeks in a block and your first week is 10 sets per session, then 12 sets per session the second week, 14 sets per session the third week, go based upon that low week and then do 80% of that. Furthermore, man, I've been weak. Today I was squatting and my legs were shaking like I've never trained legs in my life and I felt like I was carrying a horse through a forest with 10 buckets of water on my back when I was trying to squat today. Man, oh freaking man, it was like doing 455 and 405 sets of 10 nice and smooth before this all happened and today 365 was moving like sticks man like sticks was moving very sticky frick but it is what it is so that's that but as far as your calories i would keep your calories at a moderate pace i mean you want to have enough to recover from so a good amount of protein slight surplus but i wouldn't overdo it you want to make sure you're recovering at least one gram per pound of body weight Man, I'm freaking sore too. Like, it's insane. I usually don't really get all too sore no matter how much volume I do because everything's on point. But since I've been so detrained and my body's not used to the stimulus, I'm freaking sore again. So I'd make sure you're getting enough calories, definitely enough protein, but I wouldn't overdo the calories because you don't want to get skinny fat and you're not doing as much volume, so you're not burning as many calories, so you're not going to be able to consume as much without getting fat. But with that being said, since you're training again, you'll probably be doing a little bit of a body recomp, losing fat and gaining muscle at the same time, which usually doesn't happen all too often in training, but when it does, can enjoy it kind of like i'm enjoying this uh this mustachio <laughs> all right y'all wrapping up week one of the program last thing i gotta mention is the frequency i like to do everything twice a week pull push legs you can do whatever works for you i've been sore as frick this week but regardless i've been able to grow and make adaptations for instance this week on overhead press the first session of the week sets a five with 180 which is horrible for me and then the other day i did sets of seven so we one session one to week one session two improvements. Again on bench, 275 for sets of five, then 275 for sets of nine. overall I put up a nice warm-up single with 405 and then did a 3x8 with 340 which is obviously really light for me normally versus a really grindy 3x5 with 365 earlier this week so overall the progression's there we're kind of making these new gains but my weight doesn't budge so I'm still around 201 pounds and when I first got sick I was about 215 so we got some weight to put back on but the size seems about there I think it's just a lot of depletion weight that's gone and Maybe a little bit of muscle, but overall the weight will come back on strong. But follow a program that you can get in as much frequency as possible and recover and grow and make adaptations from because that's the goal. Follow along with this weekly video series as I grow, become better, become stronger, and along with that, and you guys do too. So stay tuned, stay watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you guys. To our swag juices. Whoa. Okay. Ba 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 ba